This is the part of the stream where we normally segue into uh, into whatever we're doing. And we look at some new cards first things first. However, there is not much going on right now. There's only one thing we can talk about, really. And it doesn't even have an effect yet. Um, the only card that was announced yesterday, as far as I'm aware, is this thing. Which is... Um, it doesn't even have an effect yet. But you know what it is? It's a Sky Striker Link 4. That's what it is. Which... I've, I always find it funny when they announce Sky Striker support because there's only, without a very few exceptions, there's only two fractions inside the Yu-Gi-Oh community when it comes to Sky Striker support. The one fraction is going to immediately type Bedge into the chat box when they see a new Sky Striker card. Everyone is like, oh my god, please not more Sky Striker support. And then the other fraction is like, Oh my god, yes, I love Ray. I would die for Sky Striker A's Ray. This support card is going to change my life and it's going to be the best card ever. Bad chest, right? Those are the two possible outcomes when it comes to uh Sky Striker support, right? Um Which is I find it funny. I don't know. Sky Striker Link 4 sounds incredibly hard to summon in Sky Striker specifically. But, I mean, maybe it gives you a good way to make use of the monsters you take with Widow Anchor. I don't freaking know, dude. I don't know if a Link 4... I really don't know if a Link 4 can uh, can really solve the issues that Sky Striker has. But one... one I'll, I'll, get, I'll, throw you some, I'll throw you some potential copium, you know? Um, one thing that Sky Striker needs... Because all of the Sky Striker cards are pretty much unlimited. Except for, what is it, two engages? Everyone else is at three. Um, what, what this thing would need to do in order for it to be viable is like, because the, the Sky Striker problem, by the way, the, the, if anyone has ever wondered why Sky Striker isn't meta anymore, even though all the cards are pretty much unlimited, is simply because the deck has the, the Sky Striker's entire, um, Sky Striker's entire identity, basically, in 2019, was it was supposed to be a slow and grindy deck controlling the game over multiple turns and having better grind game than ev every other um deck in the game right every other deck in the game had worse grind game than sky striker at that point um which made it so you could actually outgrind people the problem is nowadays nowadays sky striker still has great board breaking capabilities and i believe that uh, it does have great board breaking capabilities. However, it doesn't outgrind any of the modern decks. Like every single modern Yu-Gi-Oh deck has better grind game than Sky Striker. So what this card needs is either a way to like easy OTK your opponent, which I think would be boring as hell. I don't want Sky Striker to turn into an OTK machine like when they had uh, the freaking Halka Fibrax, Selene Axis Code line and shit like that. I didn't like that at all. Um... So it would either have to be an OTK machine or it would have to be a control monster. Like, insane for, like, creating follow-up. Like, basically, you you make this thing and your and your your grind game becomes insane. Later. Josh, you gotta see this. Hold up. Oh, nah, man. Scary Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG moments. God, yes, I love Ray. I would die for Sky Striker A's Ray. This support card is going to change my life and it's going to be the best card ever. Oh my god, yes. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh. Well, what do I how do I even respond to this? What do I do? <laughs> no.
Nah, we denied. We denied the allegations. 